sixth grade, module three, lesson 12, problem set. Number one, Michael, Micah and Joel each have a set of five rational numbers. Although their sets are not the same, their sets of numbers have absolute values that are the same. Show an example of what Micah and Joel could have for numbers. Give the sets in order and the absolute values in order. Okay, so let's do Micah first. So let's say Micah might have, let's do say Micah has one, three, five, seven, and nine. So the absolute values of those would be one, three, five, seven, and nine. Now, Joel has different numbers, but they have the same absolute value. So the absolute values are one, three, five, seven, and nine, but they must be different numbers than Micah's. So what we could do is make them negative because the absolute value of negative one is one. Not negative four, negative five, negative seven and negative nine. So those could be the two different sets. And it wants us to also show, give the sets in order and the absolute values in order. So um, the absolute values already in order, Micah's is in order, would be three, one, three, five, seven, and nine. And Joel's in order from least to greatest would be the opposite. Negative nine, negative seven, negative five, negative three, and negative one. And the absolute value is that order right there. Enrichment extension. Show an example where Micah and Joel both have positive and negative numbers. So we're taking it a little bit further. I can't just say Okay, Joel can have negative numbers and Michael have positive numbers. We need to mix it up. So let's do Micah. So I'm going to give him both positive and negative numbers. So let's give him negative 1, negative 3, 5, 2, and 1. So the absolute values of those would be 1, 3, 5, 2, and 1. So Joel needs to have different numbers, but the same absolute value. So one, three, five, two, and one. So he could have, let's see, if he had negative one, Micah had negative one, so Joel's gonna have positive one. Micah had negative three, so Joel's gonna have positive three. Micah had positive five, so Joel can have negative five. Instead of two, let's do negative two and then negative one. So they have different sets of numbers, different sets of positive and negative numbers, but um, the absolute values are the same. Number two, for each pair of rational numbers below, place each number in the Venn diagram based on how it compares to the other. A, negative four and negative eight. So which is the greater number, negative four or negative eight? negative 4 is greater than negative 8, but which one has a greater absolute value? So the absolute value of negative 4 is 4, the absolute value of negative 8 is 8, so 8, negative 8 has the greater absolute value. 4 and 8. So 8 is the greater number, and then 8 also has a greater absolute value. So I'm going to put, actually I was going to do that in a different color, so I'm going to put that in the center. And then we didn't use the number four, so I'm gonna put it down here because it's none of the above. Okay, C, seven and negative three, which is the greater number, seven, which has the greater absolute value. So the absolute value of seven is seven, the absolute value of negative three is three, so seven has the greater absolute value. So it goes in there. We did not use negative three. Let me erase these sevens because they went in the middle. D, negative 9 and negative 2, or negative 9 and 2. So the greater number is 2, which has the greater absolute value. That would be negative 9 because the absolute value of negative 9 is 9, which would be greater than 2. 6 and 1. What is the greater number between 6 and 1? 6, which has the greater absolute value. 6, so it goes in the middle. And we did not use one, so it's going to go down there. I'll erase those. 
negative 5 and 5. So greater number is 5, which has the greater absolute value, negative 5 or 5. Well, they are the same, right? The absolute value of negative 5 is 5, and the absolute value of 5 is 5. So it can't go in here, and it can't go in there. So I'm going to put it down here. And the last one, negative 2 and 0, which is greater. 0 is greater than negative 2. Which one has the greater absolute value? That would be negative 2, because 2 is greater than 0.